Are you looking forward to the heat outside? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I really you know enjoy. I really enjoyed the rain. Yeah. But I don't know if we're gonna see more rain, Carly. Yeah, uh, we we're not totally done with the rain, but it's very isolated today. But what I want to focus on is the new development that's possible in the tropics. So we've got a 50% chance of development right through the Caribbean. Now, where exactly this goes as it approaches the Caribbean, the northern Caribbean islands, is still a little bit of a question mark, and once again has a lot to do with how strong areas of high pressure are. So we'll take a look at what uh, we are tracking. So this is our tropical overview as of 540. The next name on the list would be Debbie. And this is our tropical wave right here with a medium chance of development. So when we're looking at this wave, you see the little inverted trough. So typically a trough looks like this when it's coming out of the Pacific, but when it's coming out of the tropics, it has a bump to it where it almost looks like a ridge, but it's traveling from the east to the west. And so you get the, the uphill ride in the roller coaster. These areas of high pressure, this is the one that's going to be responsible for all of our heat this week. But this one is the steering high pressure in the tropics, at least as of right now, which is going to take whatever does develop out of the system toward the Caribbean. Now, here's the caveat in the forecast. This high pressure over Texas and much of the western United States is going to be very strong heading into next week. But we've got a trough that's going to work to weaken that. Depending on how strong this trough is would be how quick that system does turn to the north. So this is something we're keeping an eye on. It's it, it's something worth watching at this point, uh, but it's not worrying over Barbie John Thomas.